morning, I Ibex, and good morning to the world. We are here to bring you the latest updates from in and around the global Ibex community. My name is Syed Asad Raza, and I'll be your anchor for today. And with me is my co-anchor Nala Orna. Thank you so much for this awesome opportunity. Good morning, folks, and here's another episode of Next at Ibex. Here are some of the top stories. Ibex awarded with Silver TV and four Product of the Year awards. Women's Month in Ibex features pretty strong Ibex ladies. Chantal Stewart wins first Ibex Iron Chef. Ibex Philippines announces top 10 Ibex Spaces finalists. Red Premier Cricket League Season 8 closes on a high note. And for our feature stories, we have four awesome stories that you would not want to miss out on. Ibex partners up with SMOs for a countrywide donation drive. Ibex Nicaragua and National Healthcare conducts vaccination drives. Ibex Beckley donates $7,000 to Animal Rescue while celebrating their 26th anniversary. And for our international headlines, Ibex was awarded a Silver TV and four Product of the Year awards. In March, Ibex won a Silver TV award for the Call Center and Customer Service Outsourcing of the Year category at the 16th Annual TV Awards for Sales and Customer Service. Also in March, Ibex won four Product of the Year awards for its tech solutions. The awards were presented by the 2022 Customer Magazine. The awards highlighted products that enable their clients to meet and exceed the expectations of their customers. Congratulations on the big win team! Still on international headlines, Bill Gates meets with UNICEF folks in Pakistan. For more on the story, let's go to our next at Ibex correspondent in Pakistan. As a proud provider of the state-of-the-art services, for the UNICEF facility in Pakistan, Ibex was a part of welcoming Bill Gates, Microsoft founder and co-chair of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. On his visit, he was particularly beef about the UNICEF polio helpline to which Ibex has contributed immensely. Ibex aims to continue its goal on providing customer experience services to brands such as UNICEF and making an impact on people's lives. For next at Ibex Pakistan, this is Arif Khan. Women's Month in Ibex features pretty strong Ibex ladies. Ibex launched the hashtag Pretty Strong campaign in celebration of International Women's Month. In Nicaragua, each woman was given personalized hashtag Pretty Strong mugs and pins. In Pakistan, they decorated their office with purple balloons in solidarity with their campaign hashtag Break the Bias. Guest speakers were invited to share their inspiring success stories. And in Jamaica, the women were in for a treat of mimosas, trinkets, photo shoots, and finger foods. Finally, in the Philippines, the Ibex Breakfast Club podcast featured Director of Client Services Joan Anas and HR Generalist M. Squia to talk about the unique experiences and achievements as hashtag pretty strong women. In other news, Ibex Philippines holds Tenacity Leadership Summit. For more on this news, let's go to our next at Ibex correspondent in the Philippines. IBEX Philippines held a two-day leadership summit, Dog Us, Tenacity, on March 22 and 23. The leaders laid out their strategies and their activities for the new year. Topics discussed included development, growth, improvement to engagement, the new normal, and hybrid work setup. During the event, Potsky Alvarez was promoted as the president of the IBEX Philippines by IBEX CEL Bhakti Camp. For next at IBEX Philippines, this is Prasona Kane Lopena from IBEX Buha. Moving on to our engagement news, Chantal Stewart wins first IBEX Iron Chef. For more on the story, let's head to next at IBEX correspondent in Jamaica. On March 4, IBEX Jamaica held their first annual IBEX Iron Chef competition. This cook-off competition was fought between representatives from each site in Jamaica. In the end, Chantel Stewart of New Kingston Dragons won the grand prize of 300 US dollars. This event was followed by the administrative paint and sip, where employees get to flex their artistic talents by creating their paintings while the rest sit on non-alcoholic wine. For next at Ibex Jamaica, this is Nicolette Henry. Last December, Ibex Jamaica held a grand raffle with a grand prize of a brand new car. 
This raffle was open to employees who had their vaccination. The lucky winner of the brand new car is... Colin Evans! Check out the interview with the grand prize winner. Hello, my name is Colin Evans and I'm a um, technical service customer agent at Ibex. First, I was in a bit of disbelief. Admittedly, I forgot that the car raffle was even a thing. And then when I got actual confirmation, I was very excited. Uh, at the moment, no, I do not drive. The car is doing good. It's currently sitting in a safe place and it's up for sale. Well, I mean, it's a pretty decently sized road. I mean, it's keeping me fed, employed, and it's helping me sort out a few other things that I want to pursue in life. So, I mean, has been a pretty big sized road in life. More on engagement news, Ibex Charleston Cheetahs enjoy engagement activities. To find out more on this news, let's go to our next Ibex correspondent in the United States. The Ibex Charleston team, also known as the Charleston Cheetahs, held a series of engagement activities last month. On March 2nd, the team supported Read Across America celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday with a day full of trivia. On March 4th, the Cheetahs held their Employee Appreciation Day recognizing all the hard work and dedication our employees display on a daily basis. Thank you, team. Finally, on March 7th, the team celebrated National Serial Day. This is your next at IBEX U.S. correspondent, Cynthia Natal. IBEX Honduras celebrates Valentine's Day. Let's hear more about it from our next at IBEX correspondent in Honduras. Hey, everyone. Looking back on Valentine's Day, IBEX Honduras shared their Valentine's Day celebration. Employees were giving free cookies and shared positive message of friendship. For next, at IBEX Honduras, this is Ainara Calix. IBEX Slavad celebrates Orange Fest. To find out more on this news, let's go to our next IBEX correspondent in Pakistan. On February 24th, IBEX Islamabad celebrated Orange Fest. Over 800 employees wore oranges and were given orange ice cream, as well as baskets of oranges. The focus of the event was to create more awareness of taking in vitamin C, which has been known to help speed up recovery from COVID-19. For next at IBEX Pakistan, this is very fun. IBEX Philippines announces top 10 IBEX Faces finalists. Here to tell us more about the story is our next at IBEX correspondents in the Philippines. The top 10 finalist of the IBEX PH Faces search was finally announced this March. IBEX Faces aim to find well-rounded individuals who will act as the IBEX PH official brand ambassadors. They will be featured in all IBEX branding on social media and other marketing material. Congratulations! For next at IBEX Philippines, this is Persona Kim Lopana from Ibex Buha. For more on our sports news, Red Cricket Premier League Season 8 ends on a higher note. To find out more on this news, let's go to our next at Ibex correspondent in Pakistan. On March 13, Ibex bid farewell to the Red Premier League Season 8. This cricketing event was attended by over 70 employees from across all Ibex Pakistan sites. There were billion matches this season. Special mention to our women's team as they clinched the cricket title at the very end, winning the cup, engraved with their victory for next at Ibex Pakistan, this is Ali Khan. We are featuring our wonderful Ibex Care initiative in this episode. To kick off this segment, let's go to Philippines where we have an amazing story where Ibex collaborated with SM Malls to conduct donation drives in the whole country. In March, Ibex Philippines under the Ibex Care umbrella championed the annual donation drive campaign Share Your Extras. This year, IBEX chose the communities heavily impacted by the Typhoon Odette and other communities as beneficiaries. IBEX Philippines became the only BPO company in Philippines to have partnered with SM Malls for this initiative of giving away new and gently used clothes totaling 22 huge boxes of donations. For our next feature story, let's head on to another continent in Nicaragua, where IBEX Nicaragua and the National Healthcare conducted a vaccination drive. To tell us more about the story, let's head on to our next at IBEX correspondent in Nicaragua. On March 19 and 20, IBEX Nicaragua, in partnership with the National Healthcare in Nicaragua, oversee two vaccination days for each site. IBEX Raffle away seats gift cards $200 each and a new round of vaccinations is planned for April. For next at IBEX, this is Ofnaili para Hong Kong, reporting from Nicaragua. Bye! 
and saving the best for the last, we have a wonderful heartwarming story from the United States where Ibex Becky donated $7,000 for animal rescue as they celebrated their 26th anniversary. Ibex Beckley celebrated its 26th year in the community this year, 2022. To mark this milestone with an act of kindness, the team donated $7,000 to its neighbors and partners, Raleigh County Human Society. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, our awesome stories and wonderful features from around the global IBEX community. But before we go, we want to invite you to share your stories with us as well. And you can do that by emailing them to us at nextatibex.co. You can check out more episodes on our Next at IBEX playlist on the official IBEX YouTube channel and your respective IBEX site's social media platforms. This has been Sayyad Asad Raza, your anchor. Thank you so much for watching Next at IBEX. Take a lot of care of yourself and until next time, bye.